projects on board. There is a new recipe that you can see there at the bottom, construct well, that we're going to need to uh, learn. Okay, oh no, we don't need a, we need a mine hole. Okay, so we are going to need an auger. We might need the geology textbook first before we can make a mine. Uh, for now though, what I want to do is head down to the coffee house on the outskirts of town. See if we can't clear out some zombies from there. Oh, it's actually open. Well then, I suppose we should just go inside. Take all this stuff. No, no uh, sugar though. It's kind of surprising. More coffee. Oh, here we go. All right, some sugar, tea, a cupcake. Very good, very good. All right, these zombies have seen us. We're gonna want to get out of here. Yeah, let's back out. Well, we got um, one sugar, right? Something. There might be some more in there. Well, it looks like we can actually hit three at a time. That was kind of close. All right, let's take some beta blockers here because we are freaking the fuck out. Oh god. A couple close calls. I think that means it's time for us to head home. Hello everyone, my name is Nomis, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid, Season 5 in Drayton, the Drayton community map, with our hero, Mr. JT, picking up here a couple days after our last episode. Let's see what we're at here. We're at 27 days now, I think we left off at 24 days, we're halfway through our 24th day. Uh, so as you can see, I've done a little bit of work around the base in between episodes. As I mentioned last time around, I was thinking about making a little area for a fire pit, and I have done just that over here. Uh, so I've walled this all off, and uh, put our fire pit in here, and got a crate over here for fire pit materials. Uh, nothing in there right now. That's a very loud thunderclap. Uh, but anyway, yeah, got a uh, kind of a cooking area ready for us here now that uh, the power has gone out. So we'll be using that in future episodes, but I think today uh, we're going to be trying to uh, go to the hardware store in town. We're going to see what the uh, situation looks like down there, and we're also going to try and see if we can make it down to the school. Uh, it is The school is located in uh, one of the areas uh, that isn't loaded uh, right now. Uh, on this uh, Drayton map. So, I don't know if, if we'll be able to find it or not, but there is a road uh, that kind of goes off, uh, would that be east from the hardware store? Uh, that would, if we just kept going straight from there, uh, we would eventually hit the, the school, if, if it's even loaded in. I'm not sure if it, if it would be or not, but we're gonna try and get down there today. Uh, in between episodes, I also read a couple skill books. I read our Cooking for Beginners. I'll bring up our skills here. Oop. Here we go. I read our Cooking for Beginners, and I read our Fishing for Beginners. So, we'll be uh, most likely be having a fishing episode and a cooking episode. Uh, dedicated episodes in the near future. Oh. I'm tempted, yeah, let's just, um, I don't have our machete out with us. I think it's in our backpack, but let's, uh, let's get our kitchen knife out here. Uh, the blunt weapons just take so long. Let's just use this, uh, kitchen knife. It's now a fast kitchen knife, that didn't take long. These, um, kind of more common weapons seem to level up fairly fast. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got a XP boost for our cooking and fishing skills now. After reading those beginner books. So that's good. Fast kitchen knife of swiftness. Hmm, that was very fast. Okay, so we got a... A very... That must just be a very fast knife. <laughs> okay, let's take care of these zombies. And, um... The hardware store... Will be just down this road. On the main road. It's actually just next door to where we spawned in at the beginning of the season. That, uh, if you remember that building with the sandbags out front, that's the hardware store. So we're gonna try and get in there today. 
It's already 4 p.m. though, so... I don't know how, uh... It's gonna have to be pretty clear for us to actually get in there. We'll just, uh, slowly walk down there. Try not to cause too much attention, or draw too much attention to us. Now I am, I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but I am going to be out of town starting tomorrow through Tuesday. Yeah, so today, oh god, I'm going to try and get a couple episodes recorded for Monday, Tuesday. I don't think there'll be any probably zombie over the weekend. Oh yeah, go a bit quicker there. Um, hmm. Let's just, let's see if we can lose them. Like that. But uh, I don't want to promise that there'll be an episode because I'm not 100% sure I'll, I'll get them both recorded. I shall try my best. But I'll be back uh, Wednesday. So actually, yeah, there might not. Oh my god. There might not be an episode. Episodes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll try and get a couple up at least, but just so you guys know. Yeah, there's quite a few zombies down here, guys. Uh, so this is the hardware store here, I think, yeah. And we got quite a few zombies following us. I could try and take them all out. That would be kind of risky, though. I don't know, we might want to... I don't know if it's even possible to loop. Everything's so qu close quarters here. I don't know. This is kind of sketchy. I should have brought a pistol. Something to draw them away. Yeah, like there's so many down here. My god. Not sure what to do. We could try looping around a block or two. There's... It is risky though, coming down here with this many zombies. Let's try and run around this block. Maybe they'll... There's so many, there's like gotta be a couple hundred just here. We'll run around here. This road at least seems to be kind of uh, quiet. Let's take a beta blocker. We gotta make up our minds soon though, cause... Yeah, I don't know, there's so many zombies here. It is getting kind of late in the day. Let's go back here. Just loop around everything, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully the school is still there. Hopefully it's just like the roads that aren't uh, loading in. And the forest is filling in the uh, empty spaces. Hopefully the buildings still are spawning in. So is this the back entrance of the... I don't know, there's so many zombies here. Not looking safe at all over here, guys. That's a dead end. There's that building we were staying in before, at the beginning of the season. Hmm. I think what we might have to do, I might run back, grab a pistol, and uh, maybe set up a campfire somewhere and do a, a burn. Maybe that's what we should do. I think that's the only way. The only possible way we can draw them all maybe south down the road to the edge of town and do a burn out there. Out by the uh, military base maybe. Yeah, it's just, it, there's too many here guys. Alright, we're kind of hungry. We got some food on us, so let's eat some of this. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just edit here. I'll run back home, grab our pistol and some ammunition, go to sleep, come back in the morning, we'll see if we can draw them away. Uh, we might actually have, I'll see if we have a whiskey bottle. Might be able to make a Molotov. But yeah, be back in a little bit here, guys. All right, guys, it is the next morning. Uh, didn't have a whiskey jar or a whiskey bottle, so 
Uh, what I've done is I've made uh, some campfire materials here. We'll put down a campfire at the uh, as far south as we can go. And then we'll come back. I've got our pistol as well. It's all loaded, ready to go. And then we'll come back up into town, fire off some shots, try and drag a bunch of them down uh, to a burn zone, and uh, hopefully clear out a good chunk of the town, at least the main street, so we can get into that hardware store. And then uh, I'll run. Uh, and then we'll run down the road uh, down east and see if we can't find uh, where the school is. So I'll cut back uh, once I'm at the south end of uh, Drayton. Okay guys, we are now at the southernmost end of Drayton, or of Drayton. And yeah, it could be tricky. It's probably going to be mostly forest out here. And I don't really want to burn down the military base if I can help it. So let's just go out a little bit further here. There are a lot of zombies out here. This is very, very risky. I'm actually saying to myself that this is a very bad idea. There's a lot of zombies out here. Okay, it's not uh, too thick, the woods out here. Let's get out uh, the campfire materials. We'll set up a campfire maybe right here. Okay, uh, let's see here, can I light this? Why can't I light it? I brought some twigs. Don't I have twigs? Oh, I thought I brought twigs, damn it. Where did I put those twigs? Oh, maybe I didn't bring twigs, shit. Okay, I gotta take care of this zombie. Okay, we're gonna have to cut down a tree, I think. Damn it, I thought I had twigs. Um, let's see, what, what can I tear up? I just have my raincoat, I <laughs> don't have any pants. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to cut down a tree. Okay, let's equip uh, our axe, so we do have that. We'll cut down a tree, get uh, some twigs, hopefully. Let's cut down this one. There we go, cut down tree. Hopefully that doesn't attract zombies out of here. No, that's just a branch. Tree branch, come on, there's gotta be twigs somewhere around here. We're gonna get too tired from cutting all these trees. I guess I could tear up our raincoat, but I don't really want to. Are there any bushes out here? Damn it, I, th I was pretty sure I brought twigs, guys. Yeah, we're getting pretty tired. There we go, twigs. Fantastic. And whatever, let's grab a log. We'll put a log in the fire, too, as fuel. Okay. Let's head back over to the campfire. It's right there in front of us. We will, oh god, light the fire, hopefully that doesn't draw them over here. Add a log. And let's add a tree branch. Okay, there we go. Let's get uh, this put away. Get our pistol. Now I'm probably going to have to, I don't know, I guess I'll loop down through here. Right, let's get back to the town. Should just be up here, right? Okay. Alright guys, are you ready? Are you all ready for this? Bow now, bow, bow. Okay, take some pills. I'm gonna have to run up this way a little bit. Hopefully we don't get uh, too exhausted. Oh, 
Uh, we could rest somewhere, I guess. Oh, we already got the fire going. I don't want it to go out. It's go time. Let's find where most of them are. Alright, that's the road that we're going to ha have to go down. Here's the hardware store up here. It's actually... Maybe that gunshot... Damn it, that gunshot actually drew them away. Uh, maybe we don't need to do the burn. Maybe we can just take care of these guys. I suppose if we don't have to do the burn, I'd probably rather not. I think what I'd what I'd like to do is maybe clear out uh, some trees over there, make like a clearing. That was close. Just so we can see a bit better in that area before we uh, bring a whole horde of zombies in there. So if that gunshot, I, know, I, I think it probably. Drew everyone up to our house. Oh god. Alright. Let's do this. Let's get this done. Okay, we're gonna need our axe. Let's just uh, take a quick look in this alley. Yeah, this is. We gotta take our chances here. We gotta go for it. Alright. Get our axe out. We'll break this door down. Let's uh, have a bit more watermelon here. If we don't make it to the school today, not a not a big deal. We can do it next time. Main thing is to get inside here. Alright, that's good. Oh god, stuck on the sandbags. Okay, let's get our kitchen knife out again. And put our axe away. Okay, get our pack dog ready. Uh, I don't need that branch. Let's drop that. Okay, here we go, guys. We are fairly exhausted. Looks like there's only a couple in here. Good, didn't break the window. Okay, one's coming up from outside. Actually, I don't think we can break these windows. It's like the pharmacy. Okay. Alright. Um, let's pick and choose what we're going to take here. Uh, wood glue... Um, don't really need any of that. Fishing tackle will take. Nails will take. Take another axe. Take the tape. More nails. Fishing rod, good. So we can go fishing now. Maybe that's what we can do today. Instead of the school. We can do some fishing. I'll have to see what the situation is, though. Down by our house. I have a gut feeling that that gunshot drew everyone up there. Okay, more fishing tackle. Uh, if we find an auger, that would be good because then we can make a mine and a well. But did it use up the auger when we made the uh, mine last season? Take some work gloves. I can't remember. We might need two. Uh, let's just take grab one axe. I think we're good for axes. There we got four. We can come back for some more later if we need them. We'll take the tongs for smelting. Uh, don't really care about the battery. Take another fishing rod. Lumber stack. Don't really need that. I'll take all the nails we can get though. Wheelbarrow. Too dangerous to take that. Slow us down too much. We'll take the wire for making some fishing net traps. Uh, rope. Yeah, thread. Nail gun ammo. I always convert that into regular nails. More nails. Excellent, excellent. Batteries. I'm not worried about batteries now until we figure out what we can actually use them for huge batteries there's a lot of different types I don't even know what size we would need for what oh there's an auger okay auger 25 don't have quite enough room to take that 
maybe let's see what we would need 25 so that would be 19 yeah we might i don't know should we come back for that uh it'd be good to take it let's leave these axes here that should free up 12 units that might be enough for us to take it i think i want the auger over the axes right now to be honest good thing we have a pack dog right now all right 42 yeah um take the thick rope i think that'll probably do it for right now I don't want to be overburdened going back. Let's just take a look and see what else is in here. Take those nails. Just so we know for what we're coming back for next time. It's pretty much just a run of the mill. Hardware store items. Uh, PVC pipe, duct tape. Copper pipe, I think we need all the pipe we can get. Although we are pretty full now. So I think we need the pipe for making the water tower. I think is what Hydra said. Okay. So there's a, there's a lot of axes in here. That's good to see. Oh shit. And there's a whole bunch of stuff back here too. Wow. Wowza. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's head home. It's getting a little bit late here. We'll come back for all that stuff. Um, no, I don't want to. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Well, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, there's another auger there. Okay, so there is another auger here if uh, this one gets used up. Okay. Um, yeah, whatever. All right. With any luck, that gunshot took people either west or east. Uh, no, there's still a pretty big group there, so maybe, I don't know. A few crates of lumber laying around too, which is good. We can come back for those with our pack dog. Each crate of lumber weighs 12 units, so we could fit a few. We could fit three crates into our pack dog. Yeah, that whole group saw us. Alright, let's just go for it. Let's just run. Let's just get the hell out of here. Yeah, I don't think we'll be making it down to the school in this episode, guys. But I'm, uh, I'm happy. Happy that we got to, uh, the hardware store. That's, uh, I think we could call that a success. Maybe once we get back, we can make a, a mine. It's going to take some more beta blockers here. This is probably the rest of that packet. Yeah. Um, there's quite a few on the road there. Should we just go around? Just go around and come up the, uh, the back road, maybe? Let's do that. Let's see what, the, what it looks like over here. Uh, a big group, but... Let's take out this lady. Right, we'll hide behind these trees, although it's probably not enough. Every little bit though, right? Every little bit. So let's, uh, while we're walking home, let's talk about streaming, guys. So I mentioned it, I uh, brought it up, the possibility of maybe streaming on the weekends. And uh, it seems like... There's some interest from you guys, at least uh, judging by a few of the comments in the last videos. Uh, sounds like you guys might be interested in possibly doing, uh, watching some streams of like a challenge mode on the weekend, like uh, taking our weekend challenge series and just turning that over into a stream. Uh, so I could do that. Uh, YouTube gaming just came out or was properly released yesterday so I don't know if you guys have checked that out but I could just stream over uh, uh, through YouTube It'd probably be the easiest route I wouldn't have to worry about setting up 
Twitch and all that stuff. Uh, also had a suggestion to maybe... Is that group still following us? No, they lost us. Good. Uh, to maybe do a multiplayer uh, stream with the subscribers. And I'd, I'm definitely down for that. Uh, only issue is I gotta figure out how to um, uh, forward my ports, I guess. Because I try, I've tried setting up my own server a couple times over the last couple weeks. But I think my um, my port 16261, I think, is the default that uh, Project Zomboid uses. I think it must be closed or something. I don't know if it's something to do with... Well, I think it's something to do with my router uh, and the new place that I moved into. Um, so if you guys know how to how to do that, let me know in the comments and then I can set up a server for us, I guess. Okay, so we are home now. Let's see here. Got stuff to drop off. Let's actually just go to sleep here and we'll drop stuff off in the morning when it's a bit lighter. So I imagine it's kind of frustrating for you guys when I'm trying to do stuff in the dark. So we'll just skip forward to morning here. And let's head downstairs. Okay. Head over to our storage room here. Drop off what we want on our shelves, so our tape. Yeah, 11 boxes of nails, that's awesome. That should last us for a while. Copper pipe, duct tape. Our uh, shelf here is about half full. So we should be able to fit most of this stuff in there. I hope. Tent pick, thick rope. I'll wait for this stuff to transfer over. Go. Alright. Let's see here. I'll put the tongs with the rest of the tools. Okay, that's good. So we can fit all that on there. Should have a good supply of wood glue now, too. Let's see here. We got 10 things of wood glue. Awesome. I already have a pair of tongs, I guess. Alright. Work gloves can go on there, too. And I think I'll just put our fishing gear up there right now we'll make a dedicated fishing uh, gear set of boxes all right there's our auger oh yeah we need our geology book that's why we need to go to the school so we can't make a mine yet hmm okay well at least we have the auger I guess yeah we haven't found a geology book okay I don't think we can do anything else with the auger right now because the well that required the mine hole, yeah. 300 stone. Yeah, we're going to need a mine first. Oh, right. We could catch some bugs. Should we try catching some bugs? Let's try catching some bugs. Why not? Why not? We got the stuff. Oh, I caught nothing. I caught nothing. He caught something. He caught a pill bug. Cool. Um, anything else did you catch? No. We can make a bug stew if we catch enough bugs. Let's go over to cooking. Bug stew. We need, oh, just one bug? No, nope, two bugs, three bugs. I think we need three different bugs. Let's see if we can find enough bugs to make a bug stew. Let's keep uh, searching for bugs. There it goes, uh, I got two pill bugs, okay. And something else, looks like we caught something else. Black ant, okay. Here we go. Uh, so we need a pot of water. All right, let's get a pot of water here. Let's move that over to that side. Let's check this out. We can fire up our uh, fire pit. Don't I have cooking pots? 
Have I not picked up any? Damn it. Damn it. Did I fill up any with water? Yeah, I did. Nice. Alright, let's uh, make a pot of bug stew. Craft one. Maybe it only uses one bug. It looks like it used one of the pill bugs and the uh, black ant. Okay. So we got a pot of bug stew. Cool. Let's um, close that for a second. Let's go out. What's this? Is this twigs? Yeah, okay, so we'll need some twigs to start the fire. We'll go grab some branches from back here. And I think we'll just end the episode making a pot of bug stew. This is one of the new uh, additions to the recent Hydrocraft update. I uh, might as well just pick up a bunch of this stuff and take it over to our fire pit. Um, our fire pit uh, box. Just grab a bunch of fuel. Good. Grab all that stuff. And that stuff. Uh, so for those of you wondering where I'm going to be uh, when I'm gone over the next few days. If you remember last month I was trying to go camping out in British Columbia. Or well, Alberta and British Columbia, kind of on the border. Wasn't able to back then, but it uh, looks like things are have worked out uh, this month. As far as the timing goes. So I am uh, going to be doing some camping in Kootenai National Park. And that is uh, just over by the border of Alberta and BC. So on the uh, western uh, side of Canada. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm from Canada. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'll be doing some backcountry camping, some hiking. Should be pretty cool. All right, let's light the fire here. What did I, what did I even just do there prior? I put, I wasn't even paying attention. All right, toss that on there. Let's get our pot of bug stew. Toss that in there. Open up our skill tab. See, cooking's at 29.92 right now. Let's see what cooking up a thing of bug stew, how much that'll increase it. Although uncooked, let's see here, it stays fresh for six days. That's pretty cool. That's our um, eye to food trait using the food expiration mod that we have enabled for this season. Let's, uh, we're getting pretty hungry here too, so this is a good timing. Let's just speed up time a little bit. Let that food cook. And a little bit more. That's pretty close, alright. Anytime now, we are getting hungry. Hungry for some bug stew. There we go. Take that off the of fire, we'll put that out. Nice, let's drop off these Campfire materials, we'll put a log in there, branches, twigs. Speed that up, there we go. So we got enough fuel now for a while. Let's go grab some bowls. And to put this bug stew into. Hunger of 10. So that's not, not too bad for just a couple bugs. Get over to the kitchen. I should have a few, at least a couple extra bowls. How many does it say we need? Four bowls? Oh, I don't know if I have four bowls. Actually, it doesn't look like I have any bowls. Just one. Okay. Well, next time we'll uh, we'll go out, or maybe in between episodes, we'll go out and find some more bowls for us. But let's just uh, go ahead and eat this out of the pot. Uh, what did that do for our cooking skill? I can't even remember what we were at before. Anyway, cooking skill went up. Good, good. Let's go ahead and eat this uh, pot of bug stew. Yum, yum, yum. Very good.
We'll fill it up again with water. And yeah, that'll do it for today, guys. Another episode done. Fairly productive today. Uh, I did leave a campfire on, though, out in the woods, so there could be a forest fire. <laughs> I just thought of that now. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. What do you guys think? I'm still gotta make those bricks. Maybe, I don't know. So much stuff to do, guys. So much stuff to do. If this is your first Gnomus Plays video, welcome to the channel. Hopefully you uh, decide to stick around and continue watching our Project Zomboid series. Uh, we've also got some other games on the channel, like The Long Dark, and uh, well, The Long and Dark is kind of the only other series that I'm doing right now. We've got Seven Days to Die on the weekend. That's part of our Subscriber Sunday, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you all later. Uh -huh.